My name is Pam Crooks. I have been involved in Balboa Park first as a volunteer starting in 1976, and then I went to work at the Reuben Fleet Science Center and was there for 20 years. I got to know and love the park. When I left the fleet, I retired, if you want to call it that, at a pretty young age. I realized that there was no guidebook to Balboa Park, so I decided that I wanted to do one. I just wanted to do something special for the park. I thought I knew a lot about the park after that time, but realized there was very much more to the park than I knew. Balboa Park is a very, very special place to me and my family, as it is to so many families. I love volunteering there. I just love knowing what an important role it plays in the city of San Diego and the history of it. Alcazar Garden has always been one of my favorite spots. It's a quiet, kind of off the beaten path place and one that a lot of people don't find unless they know about it. When I did my guidebooks, it was a place that I directed people to and considered it one of the hidden treasures. In fact, I listed it in my list of top 10 spots in the park. In the last couple of years, it had become quite deteriorated. The tiles were broken, the fountains weren't running, the flower beds were just very scraggly, and I just was devastated by that. The Conservancy staff and volunteers took a real interest and raised funds to restore that garden, and I'm so proud of that. You walk in there and you feel like you're transported to another time and place. I'm just very grateful for that. It's so important that we look not just at the present, the park is the heart of San Diego, and millions and millions of people visit there every year. I think it's extremely important that an organization like the Conservancy has that long view, looking out to the future and considering what is going to be needed to maintain this park so we can be sure that it's just as beautiful for our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren.